Um, but the vast majority of these places are just full of beautiful, beautiful people. Despite her travels, she's saying none of that happened. These experiences really touched her. It is so beautiful because you. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. So today we're actually going to be reacting to a Canadian travel biker accept Islam and I'm excited to see how this goes because everyone's story is always different at the end of the day. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of A Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, so some of you guys have sent me this bit of news about Rosie Gabrielle, a Canadian solo motorcyclist traveller who's been travelling across these countries and she's accepted Islam. Naturally, I didn't just want to bang it out and just cover it very briefly. I wanted to go through her stuff and see what she's actually gone through and sift through her material and Alhamdulillah I feel I'm at a good position now to make this video. Rosie has travelled many countries from the likes of Canada, the US, South Africa, Vietnam, Cambodia and so on. But it was her travels in the Middle East and the East, I don't know where Pakistan comes but I guess in the East that really affected her. Rosie lived in Oman for 9 years and she enjoyed her experience there. She was also aware of the negative media portrayal of the Middle Eastern people and the Muslims. So rather than being those people that just sits and moans and complains, she decided to do something proactive and on a public platform that would actually reach people. So this was a big part of why I'm traveling and why I'm doing this is just to show the world and inspire people and open people's minds and show them look what's out there and look how friendly these people are. Living in Oman for 9 years was all well and good but it was only when she got on her motorcycle and started travelling and meeting the forgotten people as it were that's when she started to see the real Oman. And experience after experience she noticed how selfless the people actually were and how genuinely kind and peaceful. Oh, we got some visitors. Something in here was the father from the local village that I had visited yesterday. He was very intrigued to see me alone on the side of the mountain, camping by myself, and riding this giant motorbike. He then proceeded to offer his help to pack away all of my things. What an amazing, amazing fellow. Again, just reassuring my faith in humanity and people. And, and, and these people, they don't want anything. They don't want money. They don't want me. They just genuinely want to help. Because naturally people put her off by saying, you know, you're a solo woman, this can happen and that can happen. Like, there's this whole stigma and thing about Muslim countries and they're so dangerous and okay, I'm sure there are parts of some countries that are dangerous, yes, I'm not denying that. Um, but the vast majority of these places are just full of beautiful, beautiful people. Despite her travels, she's saying none of that happened. These experiences really touched her. It is so beautiful because you I don't normally cry like this. And I can share that with the world and what a gift. What a gift. And people say, why do you do it? Aren't you scared? Why do you why do you do it? I put myself out there so I can have these human experiences myself because you can have all the things in the world, all the material things, all the gadgets, all the money in the world, but all the money in the world will not, will not give you that. Well I guess it is true when they said 
it's not necessarily what you say but it's how you make somebody feel when you say it. And after Oman she visited Pakistan and she noticed more things like how you know respectful the men were with regards to her chastity and again the, the selfless nature of the people there. No matter where I go I'm always around men all the time and there's not one moment where I feel threatened, where I feel scared, where I feel disrespected. And indeed we can say Pakistan is secular and this country is secular but ultimately it was the people that were following and practicing Islam that won her heart. And that's why I say the best form of da'wah propagation is that which is done through your actions. It doesn't necessarily have to be your long speeches and your long debates and discussions. It could just be practicing an element of this beautiful faith. And that's exactly why she said this. Muslim people, like uh, I've traveled a lot and by far the most generous, kind, exactly. amazing people. And she got this from sitting with the Bedouins to sitting with the poor people or forgotten people of these countries who live their lives very simplistically following basic teachings and she got to see this and let's face it the media is not going to report this and it was the accumulation of her experiences that was enough to make her change the entire direction of her life. It is true that travel broadens the mind and let's face it a lot of us do like to go on holidays but we just go to the resorts, catch a bit of the sun and then come back. We don't get to meet the actual people of the country and experience the country and the culture and when we leave these resorts to actually do so it will increase our faith because we'll get to see the beauty that Allah's put on this planet. And I want to end with this if Rosie or somebody else who has accepted Islam is watching this video I just wanted to say welcome to the family, welcome to Islam, may Allah bless you, keep you steadfast and grant you the highest ranks of paradise. It is not easy to change one's life and naturally you've been doing something for years and years. Take one step at a time and the start of any journey is difficult. Don't be put off and you guys watching don't forget to message her and show her your support inshallah and make her feel welcome. I'm gonna leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Such a beautiful video. I mean, I like what he said at the end of the video. Take one step at a time. I'm sure for her to convert or change her mind about whatever she was falling into Islam, she must have really been touched or have been studying or looking into this for the longest time possible. In life, you don't have to rush through decisions. Take your time, study something, not like school study, but look into something because once you find yourself wondering you always find what you want maybe this is what she wanted at the end of the day also he made some very good points in the video many parts we won't be shown by the media many parts we have to find out when we visit maybe maybe the local people or local activities or local anything Instead, when we're tourists, we find, our, we find ourselves mainly going to touristic places that have been just, that are just there for tourism or something. We should go deep, deeper than just hotels, deeper than just these fancy places, get to know the people, eat the food, just interact. You may never know what you may find out. That's the goodness about travel. If you're going to travel, be as be as adventurous be as adventurous as possible you may never know you may come across many beautiful things in this world otherwise the the generosity she found is actually not uncommon i think 
Jesse and I have said in the past that people or rather Muslims are quite um, uh, not friendly but they're quite nice they're willing to help not only the people but other people as well that's what makes the entire they all of them just beautiful i love this video i love that she found what she wanted i like how beautiful this video was everything was just just nice i hope you guys enjoy watching this and yeah let me know how you feel about this video and how you feel about my reaction Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in my next reaction video.